Good morning, good morning, men and women of God. This is God's servant, Tammy Carter, with Fire Deliverance Ministries. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's a blessing to be among the children of God. Once again, the saints of the living God. Hallelujah, his sheep, his people. It's a blessing. Hallelujah. And I say good morning to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm going to come in with a word on today. But before I do, I'm going to go into prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, I give you thanks on today, God. I magnify your name, God. Hallelujah. And I lift your name up above in earth as it is in heaven, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray and I ask for forgiveness, God, of all my sins, oh God. I pray that you would purify me and sanctify me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. That I will bring a word today, Father God, that will penetrate the hearts of your people, oh God, in the mighty name name of Jesus, a word that the enemy, hallelujah, can't take and can't steal, oh God, but it will be a transforming word, oh God, that will transform them from the inside to the outside, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and wherever they at that are under the sound of my voice, oh God, that hear this word, oh God, I take authority, God, on that territory, God, I seal it for your glory, God, I seal it for your, for, uh, 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 for your will, oh God, in the mighty name name of Jesus. I pull down every governor, every principality, every power, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I say catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let the person that hear this word, oh God, take it, Father God, to the sheep on that territory, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let revival be let it be an outbreak of of, of of revival oh god uh, that your children will be set free that they will be delivered god in the mighty name of jesus and lord god i give you thanks god i give you praise i give you glory and i give you honor for doing it god thank you father thank you holy ghost people of god know today that we serve a loving god a god that hallelujah is giving us a word a god that is giving us a uh, 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 um, direction he's just not having us out here without direction and he's given a word to his chosen to his vessels that he has called and sent out to the world to speak what thus says the lord uh, hallelujah to uh, in reference to what the spirit is saying to the church you got to know that you got to hear what the spirit is saying to the church because if you don't know what the spirit is saying to the church you can be led by another spirit uh, that's not from God uh, that is taking you on the broad road that will lead your soul to destruction. Uh, but when you hear what the spirit is saying to the church, then you will be on the straight and narrow path uh, that leads to life. You got to understand the Bible says only a few find that road. Uh, and I'm here to tell you saints of God, uh, if you hear what the spirit is saying to the church, you will be on that road that leads to life in the name of Jesus who wants to be in this world and be deceived and then find out that your life here was all in vain and the deceiver of this world had deceived you and you end up in his kingdom that is what he's wanting from you so you can lose your soul. Uh, people of God, hallelujah. Hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Uh, and the Lord has given me a word uh, to speak to his children. Uh, to let them know that the spirit of deception is warring against your life. Uh, is warring against your soul. Uh, and I'm here to speak this word to the women of God. Uh, to, the, um, to, the, to the saints of God so you can know and that you can put off hallelujah the vanities of this life know and understand that your body is a temple 
of the living God and you cannot have any and everything attached to it. There's no difference from the inside to the outside because it's still the body. Hallelujah. 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 Hear me when I say saints of God, that God is calling his people to repentance, that God wants you to be holy. He wants you to be righteous. He wants you to know when you put on sanctification uh, and holiness and righteousness uh, that you are now, hallelujah, uh, on your way, on your road home uh, to be with him. Uh, hallelujah. And let me tell you, people of God, uh, I'm going to go into the word. Uh, that's the reason that why the enemy uh, and one third of the angels were cast out of heaven. Uh, the same place that you're trying to go uh, because they had, hallelujah, disobeyed God. Uh, and Satan was caught up in his vanities. Uh, and I'm going to go into the word. Uh, but before I do, let me go to my uh, my study, hallelujah, on this morning. And give you the definition of vanity. The Bible says, hallelujah, not the Bible, I do apologize. But the dictionary says, Miriam Webster, that the definition of vanity, number one, Inflated pride in oneself or one's appearance, also called conceit. Then number two says something that is vain, empty or valueless. Number three, the quality of being vain. Number four, a fashionable trifle or knick knickknack. And then I went to the definition of deceit. Deceit says, number one, the act of causing someone to accept as true or valid what is false or invalid, the act or practice of deception. Number two, an attempt or device to deceive, trick. Number three, the quality of being dishonest or misleading, the quality of being deceitful, deceitfulness. So you got to understand these spirits are working together. The spirit of deception is working along with the spirit of vanity. How do you say that woman of God? What are you meaning? Meaning that being that you believe that it's okay Hallelujah, because you're, you're tricked to believe that, to look in the mirror and believe that you need to add something to what God created, which is misleading, which is a definition of um, um, conceit. So what the enemy says is, guess what? You're not, you're not, um, look at you, you're ugly and you need to do something about yourself. You got spots in your face. You got ring around your eyes uh, and your and your color is so black um, you need to get bleaching cream uh, and you uh, um, just look at you this is what the enemy is in your ear saying he so and again that's another spirit he's lying to you so you got to now you got to in your mind I got to fix this uh, I need to go um, 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 get me some makeup uh, I need to go and get me some um, 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 um um, some um, eyelashes and I need to put them on my on my on my vessel understand this is your vessel now this is the temple of God you want to bring these um, devices of the enemy because that's what he's mis he's misleading you to do and I need to um, 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 get this um, powder in this cream hallelujah that gonna give me a glow and uh, um, and again there's deception because that's not how God created you Hallelujah. And then I'm going to put red on my, I'm going to put red all on my lips so I can look good and it can make me feel good. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Don't you not know? Do uh, Should I say, do you not know? That's what caused the enemy to fall from, I mean, get kicked out of heaven and him and one third of the angels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, he was created already in beauty. Hallelujah. And then his heart was lifted up because when he began to look at his look at himself and I'm going to come from out the scripture. 
um, Ezekiel 28, starting at verse 13, thou has been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tibrites and of thy pipes was prepared in thee of the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou has walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stone of fire. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore, I will bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and never shalt thou be any more. Hallelujah. People of God, know her. That when you follow, hallelujah, in the footsteps, footsteps of the devil, and you are not satisfied with what the creator did and how he created you in his image because we are created in the image of God and whenever we begin to alter what God created we now become vain and we are putting on and we are walking in vanity hallelujah even with people don't you know that the enemy has brought the devices with people who are looking at their bodies and saying my breasts are not big enough and then they are cutting their very temples to put on hallelujah hallelujah silicone in their bodies hallelujah and then they're looking at their behind and saying my butt is not big enough I got to add more to it hallelujah then you're injecting yourself with Satan devices and you don't even know it you got to be thankful you got to be hallelujah grateful for what God has done huh, and how he has created you huh. and whenever you begin to alter this body even the enemy done got all into your eyes huh. hallelujah the eyes uh, hallelujah huh. hallelujah huh. hallelujah hallelujah glory be to God they are the light of the body. Now they are all around your light with darkness. And they begin to tell you, you need to add. Hallelujah. I'm eyelashes on. God has already blessed you with eyelashes. But the enemy is all in your ears. They need to be longer. And here you go. Taking a little tube of glue. Putting glue in your eyes. The devices of Satan. You're recreating what God has already done how you came off the potter's wheel is how God wants you to stay he don't want you to alter he don't want you to do anything on the outside that he's done and when people begin to look at their mouths and their lips oh my lips are not big enough and then they want to go to hallelujah these um, 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 people who are creating evil devices the Bible speaks about evil inventions Hallelujah, to cut on your lips to make them bigger. But I'm here to tell you that that is warring against your soul. And it is vanity. It is fighting against the kingdom of God. You got to take off the wickedness of the world. If God had not shown it to me, I'll be just like you were. Still in the enemy's cage. Still bound by sin. Bound by the devices of Satan. Hallelujah. 
you, even with your hair. That's why when you even on YouTube and you're on the internet uh, and they have all of these commercials. Uh, oh, and people done dyed their hair this color and that color. That is a war. That is a device um, that's telling you to recreate yourself. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to put on Satan's devices. Uh, but as being a woman of God uh, and being sent out to warn the people uh, and tell you what the spirit is saying to the church, uh, you better take Satan's devices off of you uh, and repent uh, and return back to God. Uh, put on holiness. Uh, don't you know that we are a people, uh, a peculiar people uh, that are set apart for God, uh, sanctified for God. Uh, hallelujah. And he's not going to come back for anything that's not clean uh, and that is not holy. You got to be holy on the inside uh, because when you are, hallelujah, holy on the inside is going to show on the outside. Uh, hallelujah. When Jesus came for me, I began to die to this world and I had to take off the evils of this world, the vanities of this world. Hallelujah. That was worn against my soul and the spirit of deception had to be located and annihilated. And that's what God did for Tammy. Hallelujah. People talk about me now. They say, look at her. She's dressed like an old woman. You don't have to look like that but I'm here to tell you I'm fighting for my heavenly inheritance I'm not gonna wind up hallelujah in a kingdom there where there's no water and there's no food and the love of God is not with me and the presence of God is not with me in a place where the fire hallelujah won't stop burning and the worm never died I'm not going to hell for the vanities in the the devices of this world. I will live holy. I will obey God. I will be that vessel. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. People of God, you got to know and understand. Don't look at what you see. Be led by the Spirit of God because it's God's Spirit that's going to lead you to His kingdom. Don't be looking at these preachers, these female pastors pastors that are out here preaching and they're looking just like the world because you're going to end up in hell where they're going without repentance. They have to repent and turn to God. Even the devices are being made for the men. They're putting on men weaves and they're wearing all kind of things from the enemy's kingdom. They have exalted themselves. Hallelujah. In their heart, they believe that they're all of this and they're all of that when they put on these clothing that are created from out of the kingdom of darkness uh, and little do they know that these things are worn against their soul uh, people of God we got to pray we got to pray so our spiritual lives and our spiritual understanding is open and when we begin to seek God uh, and his kingdom and his righteousness uh, you got to know that's what it's going to take uh, to make it in these times uh, to seek God uh, in his kingdom and his righteousness uh, and when you see his kingdom in his righteousness and then uh, the kingdom will begin to reveal to you the mysteries uh, they will begin to tell you what is going to take uh, is going to become uh, your guide. Hallelujah. 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 Don't you want the spirit of truth to order your steps and direct your path uh, to lead you to the kingdom of God uh, and you'll be on the straight and narrow road. Uh, people of God, uh, this is God's servant. I don't preach nothing to you that I'm not living. I'm not a hypocrite. I preach to you what God has me to say. And I'm telling you that you got to put away the vanities of this world and, 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 and no longer allow the spirit of deception to mislead you. Because if you do, you will not end up where you want to be. And I know you want to be with the father. Repent and return unto God. Locate that which has located you. Don't you know that you're 
not trying to find the devil, but the devil has found you uh, and he wants you to stay, hallelujah, right where you're at. Uh, hallelujah, lacking knowledge. Uh, the Bible says his people perish because lack of knowledge. Uh, if you don't locate him, uh, if you don't ask God for the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding to locate that which has located you, uh, you're going to continue to be slotted in the spirit realm. Uh, hallelujah. And you're going to continue to be bound in the devil's cage uh, because that's where you're at. Uh, you're bound by sin. Uh, I was once there until Jesus himself came uh, and he delivered me. Uh, you got to know, and I got to say this real fast, uh, that the church is filled with the devil's vanities. I'm talking about the church in the earth realm. Uh, hallelujah. His vanities has walked into the church uh, and God is not pleased in the enemy and the, and, and the shepherds are not telling you the truth. They're not preaching against these things uh, because they don't want to offend nobody, but I'm going to offend you. Uh, and I'm going to tell you in love uh, that Jesus Christ wants you to put these things from among you. Uh, he didn't die for that. Uh, he died for your soul to be with him in the kingdom of the living God. Uh, well, my time is gone uh, and I have to go, but I'm going to come back on this and I'm not going to stop preaching against it. Uh, be ye holy, be, be encouraged. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, be empowered and know that Jesus loves you and the woman of God loves you. If you are in the need of prayer, uh, if you're in the need of, of wanting to know more because you just don't understand and you just don't get it, inbox me, send me a message. Hallelujah. Be blessed, be encouraged, be empowered. Amen.